hello welcome to my channel today I'll be showing you how to deploy a static website um, using Amazon S3 and CloudFront then we will upload our HTML file to an S3 bucket we will enable a static website hosting and configure the bucket for public access by adding the appropriate bucket policies after that, we will set up a CloudFront distribution that uses the S3 bucket as its origin to securely deliver your content. So let's dive in. So first we're going to search for S3. Click on our S3 bucket. Alright. Yeah, bucket is opened up. We click on bucket. We are going to be using the general purpose, and then we tap our bucket name. We get bucket. then the object ownership is here disable is okay recommended then block public access setting for the buckets oh, we don't want people to have access to our buckets so we can leave this but in this case we want to have access because we are creating a public access to it so I'm going to have to click this and it gives you a warning and I acknowledge because version in is fine, tag is fine and then we go ahead and create our buckets So our bucket is created, click on it, so we need to look for what we are going to be uploading here, so for you, I don't know, if you have um, a, a static website you can use, but if you don't, you can easily go to toplay.com, they have free HTML templates for your website there can click on any one of these and download and then after downloading you can extract from the zip and then upload to your bucket but for my demo I'll be using um, my own document so click on that and then add file have my static website file I click on it and then my index as HTML that's it so next we go to no we are leaving this the version we are leaving it the way it is bucket version then for the permission We'll leave it the way it is. Then we'll go to properties. storage property the standard is fine so 
basically everything looks fine here we don't need to touch anything then we'll go ahead and uh, on upload our file is uploaded successfully and close this great so then we'll go to properties over here down to static website hosting so here we have our static website we will try to edit and enable for the index documents and type in index as html which is fine and next error document is fine redirection is fine we save Okay, so that's successfully saved. Then we'll go to permissions. So, where we block the public access is off. Click on this. See, if you wanted the public access to be on, you edit and then turn it on. But since we want access to it, we allow it. Then we we'll go to policy, bucket policy, and we we'll click edit. Okay, so it's loaded. So we have to add um, our bucket policy here that allows us to have access to this bucket. You can go on um, charge GTP, type um, no, history bucket that allows public read only access to all objects in the bucket. So I'm going to have to copy this, come to my bucket and paste. This is fine, the version is fine, statement is fine. Public read get, um, get objects. Then the effect is allow. Then the principal is a white card, as you can see. The action is get object. Then the resource. We have to put our bucket name here. So what is our bucket name? This. Copy this. And replace it with that. I believe that's all. Okay. So that being done, we we'll go ahead and save. Okay, this looks fine. Then I will leave this open, create a duplicate because we have to now go create a cloud front we need to set up our cloud front distribution that we're going to use as the s3 bucket and its origin to securely deliver your content so come here and try and type cloud front click on that
so that has loaded then we click on create a cloud fund distribution so we are going to name it distribution the description is optional our distribution type is single website or application which is fine custom domain so if you have your custom domain you can include that here but for this we are not using any custom domain so this is fine the way it is so next everything looks fine tag is optional click on next So for the origin type, we're going to be choosing Amazon S3. So um, and then for our origin, we're going to have to select our S3 origin, and it's from the bucket we created earlier. So we choose. you get a warning saying the S3 bucket has static web hosting enabled if you plan to use this distribution as a website we recommend using the S3 website endpoint rather than the bucket endpoint so what this is typically telling you is that if you click on this it's going to add a website to it you understand giving you an S3 website endpoint rather than the bucket endpoint which is this so let's use website endpoint as you can see it has added website to our s3 origin which is great which is fine so we leave every other thing the way it is use recommended origin settings great and then um, click next So for web application firewall, we say no, do not enable web, we are not using that for this, we we'll click next. So we are going to review everything we've done, cloud name, S3 origin, looks fine, everything looks fine. And then we create it's going to take a while Okay, so we can just go through this for security. This is where we have that wipe that we didn't enable, so it's disabled. Our origins looks great. Behavior, you have it all this under the behavior. Error page invalidations. So invalidation is majorly if you want the content to be deleted from cloud front catchy. Mm, this is where you include that. But we're not doing all that. Right? So back to general. So this is enabled.
So let's go back to our history bucket. So this is our endpoint. We're going to be testing this out. Okay, so we're having another message. So I don't know why we're having this error, but let's troubleshoot to find out. So it says um, no search key. Let's go to our bucket. Try to click this. Same thing. All right. So from there, I say key index. Okay. Maybe this is where the problem is coming from. So we edit this and check. Oh, okay. Maybe this is meant to be in capital letters. Static web website is enabled. Host type is also enabled. Left it at default. So let's save changes and try. Okay, successfully saved. Let's try again. Wow, great. So we're able to deploy with that. So let's try to copy the same domain name and see if it's going to give us a secure website let's create one oh voila so now we have a secured HTTPS this one is not secured that's why this is showing there it's actually HTTP as you can see this is secure and don't have that there so that's good and our website is live and running as you can see it's my um, little resume page that I created so that's how to deploy a static website using Amazon S3 and CloudFront thank you for watching like and subscribe see you next time